Greetings, gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here. Today we're going to learn how to export a character from un a character creator uh, into your Unreal Engine. I have a couple tutorials for how to attach hair and clothing a little bit um, previously made about eight months ago. So you can check on those if you want to figure out how to do that. They're also on this channel. Just look through the videos. You'll find them. Uh, but I, it occurred to me that I neglected to mention how to export the character base itself. So for the character base, of course, you're going to want a character without any clothing, without any hair. You will want to make sure the eyebrows and all these other things are maintained on the character. <clears throat> uh, because we're just going to be attaching hair and we're going to be attaching clothing separately. But we're not necessarily going to be attaching eyes and eyeballs. So the, the uh, entire kind of naked hairless character is what you want to export if you want to be able to equip your character with clothes in the game. If you just want to export everything with clothes, you can basically still do this exactly the same. Uh, you just export with clothes and you won't need to you know, then go through the separate process of attaching those. So first thing you're going to want to do is actually come on over to the poses section. Uh, look for body here and uh, you should find the open Unreal Engine A pose. This one right here. It'll say uh, UE4. And so you just basically select that. That'll put your character in the open UE AI, UE4, UE5, whatever. The open A pose. So what you're going to want to do next is just go to File, Export, uh, and then Export FBX Clothed Caricator. Uh, from here, I've got my, my texture size to 496 if you want lower resolution in particular. Uh, you can do that. You can set that max texture size resolution to whatever you want, but I've just got that to max at the moment. I don't understand Insta LOD yet, so I'm not going to explain that. We're just going to export the base model, and that's basically it. You're going to also want to want to uh, select Unreal from the pull down. By the way, uh, obviously that kind of makes sense, right? Anyway, go ahead and click export. Blah blah blah. Uh, now I've already exported mine here, so you can just go ahead and type in a name for it and click a save. That will take a couple minutes to export, but when it's done, you will have something that looks like this. Okay, next up, head on over to Plugins and go to Character Creator, yada yada yada, get the tool for Unreal. This will take you to the Reillusion download page. Right now, we can download for 4.27 engine. There's no 4.5, that's why we have to go from 4. Uh, to from 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 CC to four to five instead of just CC to five. Anyway, go ahead and download that, and when you do, you will get a folder like, where is it? You'll get a folder like this, this uh, this uh, auto setup. Where is it? This Reillusion shared plugins auto setup, Unreal, and then just grab the engine. Uh, 4.27 is what I'm using here. Grab this and inside here there will be two folders. All you need to do is copy these two folders into your Unreal project uh, project folder. Not your, not your engine folder but your Unreal project folder. So I've just created a temporary project here called project 724 or whatever. So you can just go ahead and right here in the, uh, in the main project folder where you see content. You won't see plugins initially. Oh, you might. You might if you have some other plugins in there, but initially it'll look like that. So just go ahead and copy from the Reillusion uh, download over to your project. And when you do that, you can actually fire up your project. And uh, that will actually automatically set up the Character Creator Auto Rigger plugin. This, this little thing up here should already be enabled when once you do that. Uh, if you, you can confirm this if you want to just by heading over just by typing character creator uh, uh, right up here. Mine, mine was enabled as soon as I copied it over. Yours will probably be the same. Uh, so now from here we can go ahead. So we've got the CC shaders and we got sort of this auto configuration thing. So now from here I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm just going to call that female hero and I'm going to import my female hero seat character creator into there. So I'm just going to go add an import import to game female hero hero blah 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 blah, blah. can't talk <laughs> head on over to where we exported our 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 character from character creator the fbx where did i do mine here we go yeah cc exports so i'm just going to grab that fbx file like so go ahead and click uh, open now from here you're going to want to select the hq shader uh, I'm pretty sure this is the character creator auto rigger shader. I don't fully understand it, but uh, that's the one you click. <laughs> so go ahead, click that one, click OK, <clears throat> 
and we'll give that a second to do its thing. Okay, for your import options, uh, go ahead and click that little thing down so you can see all of these additional options in here. You will want to make sure to use the T0 as reference pose. Uh, you can also, I believe we can set this to, I think any of these will be okay, but I have mine set as normals and tangents. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but it, it seems to work here, so that's okay. Um, from here, if you want to import animations, you can go ahead and do so. I don't want to import any animations with my model, so I'm just going to leave that unticked. And otherwise, basically everything is default. Default, I'll show you what I've got here. I mean, do not create materials, and then go ahead and make sure the import textures is clicked. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, then go ahead and click import all. We'll be here for a couple minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video. You can uh, see we've got a bunch of stuff going on over here. That's a-okay. Also got a little error here. That's okay too, no big deal. But as you can see, we've now got the uh, hero female model imported. I can drag her into the scene and uh, she, she is there. So I'm just going to do a quick save all. And from here, all we have to do is migrate over to our Unreal Engine project. Now, I am not 100% sure if these CC shaders are needed over in the uh, UE5 project folder. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to err on the side of caution and make sure mine are over there. I'm pretty sure these are kind of like your uh, your Quixel, uh, your, your kind of your Quixel material configuration, right? Like once you have these in the project, you don't need to export them every time. You may not need to export them at all. I don't know, but... For the sake of an error of the side, erring on the side of caution, I'm going to move my CC shaders and my female hero order over just by selecting those both, and then going to uh, my uh, great, um, yada yada yada. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I don't care. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you can go ahead and check that everything you're exporting is indeed what you want it to be. It should be, since this is basically a blank uh, project, or at least in my case, it is. Go ahead and browse to your UE5 project, and in your UE5 project, where is mine? Where is it? There we go. All right, so in your UE5 project, just go ahead and enter into the content folder. This is where you want to select and uh, migrate to. You'll get a little copy copy, and then heading back over to your Unreal Engine 5 project, we should have the female hero, we got the CC shaders, we got all that good stuff. Let's drag her in and see how we look. I think we're doing a little bit of shader compiling here. Yep, okay, pause. And there we have it, gentlemen and ladies. A character has been imported. Like I say, if you want to get clothes and hair and all those other things, scroll back about seven or eight months on my channel and you will find videos on how to do that. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you later.